Right, people, this week we are making the mother of all chocolate desserts. We're going to make a gold chocolate melting ball inspired by the YouTuber Byron Talbot. Now, this is an absolute showstopper. And once you see this, you're going to want to make it, I promise. So let me show you what you need to get started. To kick things off, we are going to start by tempering our chocolate, which is basically the process of heating it up, bring the temperature back down, and that gives it that beautiful shine and snap which is exactly what you want. So I've got my thermometer and we're gonna watch this very closely until it hits 114 degrees Fahrenheit. So keep your eyes on it and keep stirring. Okay, we are at 114 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour in the rest of my chocolate and this is gonna cool it back down immediately and we're going to cool it down to 91 degrees Fahrenheit okay and then we're ready to pour into our ball so keep mixing keep watching a thermometer and making sure all those little bits of chocolate melt 92 we're nearly there 91 okay take your thermometer out and get your little ball mold. And we're gonna pour this in, okay? Pouring it in until it's about a quarter of the way full. Just like that. And then, what you're gonna do is put your chocolate to one side, seal the lid on this, okay? So pop the lid on like that, and now swirl it around. And what you're doing here is you're coating the entire ball with chocolate, so you don't have a half naked ball. You want your ball to be completely covered in chocolate, okay? So spin it around just until all those gaps are covered in glorious tempered chocolate. So my ball is completely covered in chocolate. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it into the fridge for an hour. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it every two minutes for the first 15 minutes. And that's gonna make sure there's an even layer of chocolate all around. So in the fridge it goes, turning it every two minutes. So this has been in the fridge for an hour and 15 minutes and you can see this gloss and shine on the chocolate ball. And that means you have nailed your tempering, okay? So well done to you. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna gently melt the bottom of this. Just swirling it around until I make a hole that's big enough to cover a scoop of ice cream. So swirling it around all the way until we get something that is about that big. That's enough to cover our ice cream. And now we pop that back in the fridge for five minutes just to set up that melted chocolate. And we'll be back. Our melted ball is out of the fridge and we've got our gold shimmer spray. We are gonna make this look so fancy, okay? I'm gonna stand about a couple feet away and I'm just gonna spray away and we're gonna see how it looks, okay? So spraying. Look at this, look at this. Going around, getting the underside as well. So the final coat of gold, put that in the fridge and then we can do our melting gold chocolate goodness. Look at that, fancy. I have a scoop of my favorite vanilla ice cream here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top this with a few berries. I'm gonna top it with some hazelnuts. You can do whatever you want. We're gonna pop over our gold ball. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up with a spatula and we're going to gently place this over the top of our ice cream. Here we go. I have got some really hot toffee caramel sauce. It smells delicious. And we're going to pour this over our gold chocolate melting ball and it's going to be amazing. Are you ready? Here we go. we have it, our chocolate golden melting ball. You can see that ice cream, raspberries, hazelnuts, it all looks so delicious in that pool of caramel. You guys have got to try this one. Comment down below, let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to Topless Baker for more baking goodness every week. I'll catch you guys next week, bye. And there we have it, our chocolate golden melting molten, ah, no. Look, it looks so good.